What's up guys, TJ here with another video. So I did a video a couple days ago showing you how to um, create a website and I'm gonna kind of build out my website and I just wanted to record while I was doing it and maybe give you some inspiration. Um, you know, maybe you have some questions after you see me build out my website. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe I really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I post new content so from the old website uh, I switched it up a little bit I changed it to a different um, a different style and I have an idea of, of what I want um, I'm going to move this about us section down. I'm going to put a different photo back here. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of these photos. Um, I'm going to keep these, but I'm going to change the photos within them. And I don't, I don't have the photos ready, so I may, you know, clip off and, and edit some pictures and put them back on here. Uh, I don't have any membership. I'm going to get rid of that. And I probably will leave this contact us and get rid of this map at the bottom. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to tell you what I've done so far. So, so far I have, uh, created this, uh, thing and off camera, I made, uh, some of my creatives. So the creatives are going to be the things that you're going to put inside your website. So I normally do this like on a Pinterest board or I would do it like an Evernote file and I put like my about us, uh, I'll type out my about us section or whatever different sections I'm going to do. I already have those ready so I can just copy and paste them and put them on the website itself. Uh, also, I had an idea about how these photos uh, are. What I had to do was go into Photoshop and I found these like Polaroid frames with the mask tape at the top and I was able to put my pictures in the background of those photos so it looked like photo frames kind of taped up on there and if you want to know how to do any of these effects that I've done in Photoshop I created this uh, in Photoshop this was actually just a photo that I took I edited it and I got deleted the background and I kind of added some stuff and I'm gonna add something else here on the front I'm gonna put my name some kind of way like across here uh, that'll kind of appear but I'll work on that later um, but if you want to see how to do any of these Photoshop tutorials, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to make those tutorials. So I'm just going to kind of talk through. I'm not really going to do any kind of telling how to do stuff. I'm just going to kind of work on this a little bit while I'm recording. Uh, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this heading up here and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. So let's look and see what kind of heading designs they have. They just got colors. I think I think I want something that's a little more just like transparent. Do that. Okay. And I still leave it just like that. So I was thinking about putting my name, putting my name somewhere over here, but I may just move this over here and maybe make it a little bit bigger. And make it a little bit bigger and uh, take up just that entire section. Like I was telling you on my last video, um, this Wix.com makes everything like so much easier. It's just plug and play. I want to move that down. That's actually pretty good right there. I may change the font. Let's see what kind of fonts they have. I like that one. You know, I like anything kind of techy, um, but I also kind of like handwriting, but I know sometimes cursive is a little bit hard to read, 
Now, I don't like uh, font cursive sometimes. It depends on how, how it looks. But. And you can also add uh, your own custom or your own font. So if you can, you can find a font online that you want to download. You can download it and use it here as well. I'm thinking about that one, I kind of like how that looks. Let me leave it like that, and I'm going to leave it black. Add a little shadow or something to it. Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of cool looking. It kind of gives like a 3D effect. I'm gonna put it right. Kind of like right there. That looks cool. All right, and then these. I'm gonna change these so. I'm gonna have my home, my about. So I have my about already uh, typed out. I just have to copy and paste it. I'm gonna change this to um, what is this gonna be? Uh, so this is not actually going to jump into a different page. This will just be jumping to a different section. Uh, of the website, so I think I'm gonna make this one move the about us down here. And I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of that. I believe that's that's what I'm wanting to do. So let me let me do that first. Let me get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm, I hate to get rid of this because I kind of like that. But I'm get rid of it. Because I said I was going to. I'm going to move this about us element down if I can. There we go. Alright, so. And it does give you grids, which is really cool. Alright, so we have a really big photo back there in the background. I don't, I have an idea for what picture I want back there, so I'm gonna leave this picture back there for now. Um, I'm gonna shoot a picture tomorrow. It's gonna be like a black and white picture, and the, the, uh, the color scheme on this website is gonna be this kind of teal and orange because I like the way those colors look together. So I'll probably do some kind of play on that with this photo that I'm gonna take tomorrow. And I like how like how big this this looks, so I'm gonna have to take that picture somewhere, you know, in my house where it's a lot of space. Alright, so this is my about us. Let me open up Evernote. This does it does that to me every time. And skip. Alright, so this was my about TJ section. I'm just gonna copy and paste this into the website. And see if you have all this stuff already done, it makes everything so much easier. Cause you don't have to, uh, you don't have to sit here and type this up, you know, while you're trying to be creative. Uh, I had in two kind of paragraphs, so that's what I'm gonna do as well. But it's got like a weird, it's got like a weird space right there. I don't know what that space is. Is it center? I feel like they've got it centered. I feel like I want it justified. I'm gonna try it with justified and see how that looks. Oh, uh, that looks all right. Let's 
seems like that's a lot of words, but that's how I'm going to leave it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a photo back here in the back. What I may do is I may bring this uh, wood uh, down here. So let me see if I can do that. It does let you store your images on here. So all the images that I've, I've created are here. Let me try this and see what that looks like. looks like that background may be there we go scale to feel and that's why it looks that's why it looks weird if I tile it I don't like the way that that looks weird. That ain't, that ain't too bad. Like that. Okay, so you got a teal color, then you kind of got a green. Because I don't really want to use the same background here. I could, though. Let me try it with the same background, see what that looks like. I had to fix this earlier. Cause it's uh, I think the image is too small, so it kind of looks weird. That's all right. All right, so that ties that in with this, and I've got some other little elements that I'm going to add. Some little springies, just kind of. You see, how I put these around my my photo. I'm going to have these just kind of throughout the website, so I have some different colors on this portion as well. So we got our teal, then kind of a green color, which is still all right. And then I may do, now let me make sure it's gonna work. Since we deleted the community, let me see what, where that takes me. So really I need to delete this one, which is about, I can change this one to uh, about. Okay, and this bottom is going to be. It says spaces. I think I'm going to make these um, like my different areas of YouTube. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put YouTube. YouTube spaces so I guess that's kind of a play on you know there's different aspects of my YouTube channel and you can look at those so of course we don't have any kind of book online that's a different page I guess and I may be able to use that for something else I'm just gonna leave it for right now membership I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna put social media and I'll change I'll change these later and contact us now I don't know if I'm gonna do like a I guess I, I won't do that I can collect email addresses for updates that'd be cool so I'm gonna leave that All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a preview because I'm getting close to the end of this portion of what I'm gonna do. So let's preview what we got so far. So right off the back, the thing that I see that I don't like is how these don't meet up. I have to fix that. That's gonna bother me. Actually, let's go back and see if I can fix that before this video ends. I don't think that kind of cuts off my picture. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it like that for right now and then I 
I can fix that.